Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, SAP with IK. Hope you're all doing good. Today in this video, we'll discuss on the complete end-to-end -end process of uh, a production execution. It basically starts with the creation of the uh, plan independent requirements, and then it goes with the MRP and then the creation of uh, planned orders. So in this scenario, we are also going to discuss uh, the planning time fence, which is basically part of the master data maintenance and how the planned orders will get uh, created with the firming indicators and how does it impact with the number of days that we provide in the planning time fence. So let's get started. So here we are in SAP and let me quickly go to MD04 to re review the uh, stock statistics for our uh, test material which is the P100 in the plant uh, 1000. So here uh, there are a few available stocks for the material which is uh, 141 pieces and along with that we also have an uh, independent requirement uh, the LSF which is a make to stock. Uh, and the requirement has been created uh, in the month for the month of Jan 2022 and with the requirement quantity of uh, 240 pieces. So now with the uh, net requirement calculation, the available quantity is uh, less than uh, the LSF or the PIR quantity. So that's the reason we have uh, an additional planned order created for the deficit of uh, 99 pieces over here. So before we start the scenario, uh, let me uh, walk you through the master data settings that I have made on the material master. So let me go into the MRP1 view. So here uh, I'm going to use the MRP type as uh, P1 which is basically the uh, MRP type for the firming uh, indicator. right? So since we are using the planning time fence, it makes sense to uh, use the MRP type P1 so that the plan orders will get uh, firmed within the planning time fence. So it's basically easy to understand with the number of days uh, along with the firming indicator created against the planned order. And along with this, I am also going to use the lot size here as the fixed order quantity. So not just the regular lot for lot order or the EX lot size. So here we are going to discuss about the fixed lot size and also see how the demand and the stock is being balanced by uh, during the MRP run and how the lot sizes will be managed uh, in creating while creating the procurement proposals or the planned orders. So here in this uh, uh, video, we are going to discuss about the planning time fence, the MRP type uh, P1, which is uh, the firming indicator, and also for the lot size as fixed, along with the uh, production execution as well. The master data setting that we are going to uh, use for this material in this scenario today. So now if I remove the VSF and I would like to wipe out all the data. So let me do that first. Just delete. And then the uh, planned order once I run MRP it should go away since there is no requirement for that. Right, so it does not go away. Why? Because we have a firming indicator here. You see that small asterisk, right, just besides the stock. So if we have that activated against the uh, planned order, it means that the MRP cannot actually uh, change or modify the planned order, right? So let me go into the change mode of the planned order and delete it manually. So I'm going to refresh. So we have uh, only the available quantity of 141 pieces. And then you can see the end of planning time fence, which is showing as 22-1-2022, which is uh, almost uh, 10 days uh, from the current date of uh, 11 uh, Jan 2022. So this is happening because we have the planning time fence de uh, defined in the material master as 11 days. Right, so it would be around 11 days from 11 Jan to 22 uh, Jan. 
so now if i go if i change you know uh, the planning time went from 11 to 10 so now the date here uh, where the end of planning time fence is shown as 221 it would go back to uh, 21 1 so let me show you that so i'm going to open that in a different screen go to mm02 mrp1 and now i'm going to change the planning time fence to let's say 10 days and i'm going to save this so going back to the md04 so now you can see after the refresh that the date has been changed uh, to 21-1-2022 because the planning time fence has been reduced for one day right so with this settings in place now i'm going to create a planned independent requirement so create pr so this is going to uh, take you to the uh, standard md61 transaction so i'm going to use a proper date okay so now since we do not have uh, uh, any strategy group uh, assigned in the metal master so it is basically not able to find any requirement type here in md61 so now i'm going into the uh, material master and i'm going to assign the uh, strategy group so let's say i want to use the 10 which is a typical uh, make to stock so that i can get an uh, lsf uh, over there so i'm going to md61 and just provide the range so i'm going to use it like a six month period so now if i want to assign a requirement uh, let's say around uh, 241 pieces so why because i already have a stock of uh, 141 right so let me open the md04 once again yeah so now we have the available quantity of 141 pieces so now if i uh, create the demand for 241 so uh, i will still have a shortage of 100 pieces so that would be easy for understanding so i'm going to save this and go back to md04 and re refresh the list so now here we can see that as expected uh, we are shortage of 100 pieces and if you look at the place where the pr has been placed it's within the planning time fence right so if you look at the requirement date of the pir we have mentioned the month as jan so the first date uh, the first working day of that particular month will be considered as the requirement date so that's the reason we see the uh, jan 1st 2022 as the requirement date for the lsf of uh, 241 uh, pieces so that's uh, within or before the uh, end of the planning time fence so now if i run mrp for this requirement and go back to md04 refresh the list so now you can see that a planned order has been created for the quantity of 200 pieces so the reason for this is i mean by looking at the calculation here you uh, you can say that my requirement is only for 100 pieces and why did i get a planned order for the 200 pieces the reason is that since we are using the lot size as the fixed lot size and my fixed lot size uh, quantity is uh, 200 pieces so irrespective of the requirement quantity or the shortage mrp is always going to create a proposal in the multiples of the fixed lot size so which is 200 so let's say if we have a requirement of uh, more than 200 so let's say we have a requirement of uh, 300 pieces and run and run mrp so then it would create two planned orders for each with 200 pieces right so that's how the fixed lot size uh, is going to work okay so now here uh, you can see that the plan order has been created with uh, the date of uh, 21 1 2022 and system is asking us to reschedule it uh, to the earlier date of jan 1st 2022 right so that's based on the scheduling type and for that reason we also see the exception message that it's asking us to reschedule the date but what if i change the uh, or increase the uh, planning time fence over here yeah so what if i increase the planning time fence of uh, i mean fr from 10 to 11 so let's see how the plan order gets created uh, in that case so mm02 again 
so now I'm going to increase it to 11 days so now my planning time frames is going to be 22 1 2022 right so now the planning time uh, the time fence has been updated to 11 and I'm going to minimize that and now you can see that the plan order has been moved to the I mean inside of the planning time fence right and the reason is that the number of days since we have increased it to uh, 11 from 10 so the end of the planning time fence is now calculated to be 22-1-2022 but the the lead time of the planned order was never changed right so now the end date or the available date of this planned order is going to be completed by 21 jan 2022 which is below the end of the planning time fence right earlier than this so that's the reason the firming indicator has been updated on this particular planned order this small hashtag that you can see uh, as i'm highlighting over there so once we have the firming indicator activated on the planned order despite of running several uh, mrp runs for the material though you try to delete and recreate uh, the planned order so system is not going to remove that plan order or, or change any data for that. Why? Because the planning has been freezed with this firming indicator. So let me show you that. I'm going to run a, a MRP. But now here in the planning mode, I'm going to use the third option to delete and recreate the planning data. So in a usual scenario or a normal plan order without a firming indicator, it would basically delete the planned order and uh, create a new one, right? So now with this one, there would be no change at all. So if I refresh the list, you can see that there is no change in the plan order number. It's always the same before and after the MRP run, right? So that's how the planning time event is going to work. But now again, in another case, so let's say I'm going to reduce the planning time events from 11 to 9. So now my expectation is that the end date of the planned order is going to be beyond the end of the planning time fence. So now the planning time fence is going to reduce by two days, right? And the planned order would be out of the planning time fence. So in that case, the firming indicator is not needed anymore, right? So I'm going to refresh. Now you can see that the planned order has been moved out of the planning time fence and the firming indicator has been removed on the planned order so if i run mrp now with the planning mode as three delete and recreate the plan uh, the planning data and go back so now before the refresh the planned order number is a uh, 94541 now i'm going to refresh it now it has been updated to 94542 right so now you uh, can see the difference with and without the firming indicator and how MRP reads the data within the planning time fence. So some of our uh, subscribers have actually asked us uh, basically to uh, talk something about the planning time fence and, and this is how it basically works. So let's use the same scenario uh, to execute the uh, production execution process as well.